Hello everyone and welcome to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us 29th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us uh, into the middle part of July. I'll get over that for you in a moment. Just save that first video sales. So that's it. Simply keep the forecast. I've got the latest update for Glasto coming up later on today as well. When well, in about an hour, actually, half an hour, something like that. So please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for dear math for gas weather. Thank you so much, everyone. I just say we're now asking for autumn photos and submissions. So if you've got a nice well, I'm cutting down. No, if you've got a nice autumn themed photo, then please can you email it to me at gasweathervids at gmail. Dot com and we're going to do our best to compile all of the photos that have been submitted and then in a couple of weeks we're going to go through all of those photos pick up 12 uh, for our calendar and your picture might be featured in the 2026 gals weather's viewer photography calendar so uh, thank you so much everyone for doing that had lots of uh, photo submissions so far and that's uh, absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. I just say that uh, you must have a copyright to your photo. I'd be happy for us to use it. And uh, no AI enhancements as well, please. High def and over copyright. And uh, you could you could see your photo, your picture feature within our calendar um, for next year. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, let's start the video. Then we're going to begin with the latest word from Matt from EarthNoSchool.net. Show that we're high and dry today. Big area, high pressure sitting right over top of the country. The low pressure is in the Atlantic, uh, being blocked by that area of the high pressure. And that high is going to be drawing up some very warm, hot air over the next few days. Eventually, these low, low pressures will start to break through to things cooler and fresher later on in the weekend. Central England temperature is sitting at 15 degrees, 15.0, that's uh, 0.9 of a degree, nearly one degree above 61 to 90 average, and that is provisional to yesterday to, no, it's provisional to the 17th, sorry, <laughs> provisional to Tuesday. These were GFS, upper air temperature, and precipitation ensembles. Let's go to weeks. So London today, red lines, 30 year upper air temperature, average London. Of course, we're already above average, going to rise further over the next few days. So, becoming uh, really hot with those upper air temperatures by the weekend, between 15 and 20 degrees at 850 HPA. Then they're going to start to come down and return closer to average later in the weekend, but still a bit above. And then also, it could be taking off again, actually, uh, into March. Months um, and maybe lasting into the start of July. Precipitation wise, looking very dry as well. Over the next few days, could be some showering conditions as the temperature comes down later in the weekend and through early part of next week. But really, that's a pretty dry ensemble graph, I have to say. Uh, not much in the way of precipitation there from beginning to end. Temperature anomaly is it's five days up to the 24th of June, coming out above average, so uh, significantly uh, warmer than average temperatures expected there. 6 to 10 day is also above average, 8 to 12 day is above average, and 10 to 14 day gets us to the third July rounds it off, that is above average as well, so very warm for the next couple of weeks, clearly, uh, times hot. Precipitation anomaly takes 7 days up to the 26th of June, drier than average at Iron Dink, the weather is a little bit wetter than average for northern West of Scotland, 8 to 14 day again is coming out drier than normal. Right, let's start going through chart data. Let's have the latest the UK about Euro run. Talking midnight on Sunday, a weather system pushing eastwards, um, beginning to move that heat and humidity away into the continent. So by mid by midnight Tuesday. We're back into a cooler, fresher, and flatter uh, westerly flow by then. Through next week, we find high pressure building up from the southwest, turning much of England away, mostly dry and warm. Could be some rain, though, for Scotland and Ireland. Icon again pushes that westerly through. Sunday to Monday, a cooler, fresher feel then. Then high pressure trying to ridge up from the south, but a little bit more unsettled with ICON compared to the UK Met uh, for uh, the middle part of next week. So that's 
that's midday next Thursday. It looks like it brings some wet and windy weather into the north and west. The south of you should have quite a bit of dry and warm uh, weather, though. And then the KMA uh, looks like that. So, again, the Azores side trying to build up from the south. But we're looking rather westerly with the KMA. A uh, little bit unsettled, especially so for the north and west. Always close to that Azores high down in the south, though. And uh, later on, well, ending up by the 1st of July with an area of low pressure actually over Scotland there. So the KMA looking rather mixed um, as well. Right, mixed back today for model output. This other GFS midnight run is looking. So again, we're pushing that westerly through over the weekend. We'll clear away the heat from um, uh, through Sunday into Monday as westerly winds take over. Uh, then through the middle part of next week, we'll high pressure which is back into south, the north looking more unsettled. That gets through to the end of next week, into Glastow period, of course. That looks very nice for the Glastow girls. A nice ridge from the Azores side in across England, Wales. Lots of dry, warm weather with that, forming an area of high pressure by day 10. So, uh, a lot of dry and warm weather uh, next week with uh, the GFS Big Night Run. In complete contrast to, like, uh, Icon, what we've just seen, and the KMA. Um, beyond that, well, high pressure still sticking around into early July as well. We're at extended range now, uh, of course. Um, so, very warm for the next couple of weeks. At times, hot and a lot of dry weather there with the midnight GFS. Well, what about six Z? Well, that one also flat and westerling through uh, Sunday to Monday. Then low pressure clearing away to the north as we get through to Wednesday Thursday. Rich building into south. We've got dry weather there. A little bit more showery though up in the north. End of next week. High pressure dominating in the south. Again, it's mostly dry, warm or very warm there. A little bit more unsettled further north. Day 10, which is 29th of June. Perhaps uh, bringing a trough in from off the Atlantic. That could bring something a little bit more showery with it. But basically, high pressure is in control until the beginning of July. Perhaps a hint of something more unsettled by the very end of GFS. Uh, mid um, uh, since they've run, I should say, with rather deeper uh, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. That gets us into the opening dates of July. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know. Do think about this? Uh, not about videos and content. Don't forget to have friends about guys with this. And get them to subscribe to you. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. So, we only put on around 20 subscribers, I think it is, to get ourselves to uh, 20.3k, 20,300. If you could get us a sub, that'd be awesome absolutely amazing thank you so much everyone thank you so much okay gm again with low pressure in off the atlantic bringing unsettled conditions from saturday so much some thunder triggered with the heat and humidity but mate the main thing is that there'll be a cool down so saturday could be very warm to hot check out 6 a.m broadcast uh more about that and then sunday should turn well still be very warm but should turn cooler and fresher then we're into those westerly winds through the early part of next week for high pressure builds back up again through the middle part of next week so the middle part of next week is uncertain and we sound like well, it's less than a week away now or around a week away. So the model output, like the gem, like the GFS, building up this high pressure, setting up another spell of very warm, potentially hot weather uh, through the second half next week. Other models like Icon and KMA, a lot flatter, a lot more westerly, and therefore a lot more unsettled and cooler. So the gem basically looking uh, very warm up to day 10, particularly for the south and for the south east. Uh, we've quite a bit of dry weather there, some shower conditions out to the north and the west. And then uh, the ECM rounds it all off with a flat westerly flow setting in for the early part of next week. A ridge trying to build there around Wednesday, but this low just rolls in over the top and flattens it off. So uh, the ECM is also in the cooler and more unsettled bracket, particularly for the north and the northwest through the second half of next week compared to like the jam and the GFS. Again, another rich attempt from the south there around day 9 and 10, bringing a lot of dry and warm weather into the south, more unsettled 
up to the north, but never quite getting there with that high pressure. Quite a bit of mobility within the Atlantic into early July there from the east. So it's a mixed bag today, isn't it, within the modern output. Very uncertain where we're going from about as early as a week out. Of course, this is a bit of a nightmare for me and uh, for the Glastow goers, because <laughs> it does encompass critical Glastonbury Festival period as well and i'm not sure the models have got a handle yet on where things are going from about next wednesday onwards so it's going to be interesting to see how this works out this is a precipitation forecast based on that east chevron from tibet.com so over here over next few days could trigger a few heavy showers of so over welsh mountains pennine scottish mountains etc uh, but, of course, we're going to those westerly winds. That's going to cool things down and bring showers into the north and the west. But there's just a lot of dry weather for much of the time in the south and the east. A um, few heavy showers there yeah, in around a week's time. But most of the rain is up in the north and in the northwest as well. And that gets us to day 10, where again, we've got more wet weather for Ireland, Scotland, but England and Wales holding on to a lot of dry weather. These are the options on the table within the East um, Ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 29th of June. 17 members of the East um, Ensembles with high pressure to the south and low pressure to the north. That brings in a westerly flow, but driest weather in the south, more unsettled up in the north. 14 with high pressure. Um, further north, stronger there uh, across country, lower pressures out to the northwest, jet streams up here somewhere. That should bring a lot of water, dry and warm weather into more southern regions. 12 again with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north and northwest. Driest weather would be in the south then with that. And 8 with high pressure over to the east of the country, draws up a southerly, southwesterly flow. That brings the driest, warm, wet, more, warmest weather to the south and into the southeast. In two weeks' time, this is the option that we've got. Gets us to the 4th of July. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to the north and to the northeast. So that looks cooler and well, not necessarily more unsettled, but certainly more showery. Could be more unsettled into early July. So if we hang on to the high pressure for the end of June, which we may do, uh, it looks like early July could see a change to something cooler and more showery. I say the models are mixed today. CFS B2, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar high tomes, and they're broken down into week periods. The first week period, of course, we'll be taking us from the 19th to the 25th of June. But next week, we'll have high pressure right over top of the country, mostly dry. Warm and uh, you know, very warm, hot at times, of course. Uh, week two is the 26th of June, 2nd of July. Now, the is keep the high pressure fest going, man. So, remaining dry or mostly dry and very warm or hot. Remember, it's a weekly anomaly, so there might be day to day variation, but overall, for the week there, from the 26th of June, 2nd of July, high and dry, lots of uh, hot and fine conditions. Week three will be the third to the 9th of July. Again, high pressure right in. Over the top of the country, that should be mostly dry, warm, very warm, and or hot once more. And then week four rounds it all off. It's a tenth of the 16th of July. High pressure and just begins to inch out into the Atlantic. So a little bit more of a westerly type flow setting up with some lower pressure uh, out towards or up towards Scandinavia. Um, to be honest, that probably still brings a lot of dry weather, but could, uh, it could uh, have a bit of a cool down with it. But it's four weeks away, so not worth worrying about. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sharing for the that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this sound, all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys with this. Go to subscribe too. Thanks for everyone for doing that mixed bag today. We'll see what uh, the models yield tomorrow. Well, we're going to be back a little bit later on, or very short, actually, with the uh, latest instalment and update for the Glastonbury Festival. Uh, so, Glastow girls, get ready. The latest Glastow updates on the way. Tomorrow, 6 a.m. UK weather forecast and a 10 to 14 day out as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. This one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.